Now look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, but for one moment, will you capture it? Or just let it slip? What's up everybody, it's Billy here. Uh, today we'll be doing a 4K Blu-ray hunting video today. Now, what you just heard is that I heard that Eminem's uh, movie 8 Mile is coming for the very first time on 4K and their exclusive it's gonna have a uh, a steelbook but when I looked at the website I don't know if it's gonna be like a, a Best Buy thing all I see is it's called a uh, a Grove edition like I don't know what that is but we'll see if the steelbook will be in uh, Best Buy if not then might as well have the uh, regular 4k but yes well that's the so yeah I looked at the website I was trying to check like what new releases are coming out all I see is just uh, 8 Mile, even though it's coming to remaster on 4K, but we'll see what other movies have came out on the, uh, on the sides or, or on, on the shelves, but we'll see though. And, uh, video games, um, actually, um, one video game is coming out that, like, tomorrow, tomorrow, and that is God of War Ragnarok, which I can't wait. Uh, everybody's already posting gameplay of it, of it but I kind of watched first part of it, but anyways, I'm just so excited to get uh god of war ragnarok or maybe I, I i don't know but we'll see so uh basically that's much it so let's go to our first destination and let's go all right then our first stop we're gonna be shooting at a target let's go right inside before we get to the movies i totally forgot this was coming out of the uh, sonic uh foreign tennis whatever how you call it but we do got the uh the ps5 and the uh the Xbox Series X and Xbox One, but they don't have a PS4, but we do got some tags for the uh, God of War Ragnarok on the PS5 and the PS4 as well, but crap, I literally totally forgot about this. Like, isn't there supposed to be like a, uh, a PS4 and Nintendo Switch? Yeah, probably a Nintendo Switch. Let's just go to it right now. All right, uh, I don't know if Nintendo Switch has it. Like, there is a Nintendo Switch version, but Oh well, but anyways, uh, let's just go to the movies right now. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry you guys, I literally forgot that uh, that the new Sonic Sonic game has come out. So, anyways, let's continue on. All right, over here in the uh, movie selections, um, there's nothing much they changed. All they got is just the uh, the Top Gun Maghreb, and they officially sold out the uh, the seal books. So they still got a bunch of Blu-rays. I still have not got my copy of it, which I actually kind of want the uh, the double pack for the uh, the Blu-rays, but. Oh well, there's nothing much here to see, so yeah, bummer. So yeah, uh, nothing as much has changed. All they got is just the last week. Like again, the no movies are coming out. I'm just, I, all I just want is the uh, the eight mile, which we'll be getting it, maybe getting it on Best Buy. So, anyways, there's nothing much here to see. So I guess it's back to the car. Alrighty then. Um. Uh Again, uh, there's nothing much uh, news here, so yeah, we're just gonna keep going store to store to see like what new releases they they have on the uh, the other sides of the uh, the shelves. And I totally forgot the uh, the new Sonic game is coming out, and it's been a while I haven't played like a Sonic game. Like I, I don't rem I can't remember like when was the last um a Sonic video game that I ever played. Like when I got so excited. Like years later, when I got so excited that they're gonna make a, a Sonic movie, I was like blown away. So yeah, I, it's been a while I haven't played a Sonic game. So, so yeah, it'll be it'll be tired to have to play a new Sonic game on the uh, the PS5, like for all time's sakes. But anyways, uh, no review from I didn't even watch anything from last week. Actually, uh, I did have a pretty rough time uh, last week, which again don't want to talk about. It, and it's all right, everything's fine. But I am waiting for the uh, the new Black Panther movie, which I can't wait to see. And I totally forgot to show the uh, the toy sections. Like I already got uh, some Black Panther uh, toys, but we'll see what Walmart has. But anyways, let's go to our next destination and let's go. Our second destination, we got to save money to live better at uh, Walmart. I mean, wa Walmart, Walmart. Uh, you know what I mean. Speaking of uh, Black Black Panther, what kind of forever is coming out tonight? We also got some toys over here. We, we also got like a, a very cool standee over here for uh, 
the new Black Panther movie. We got a uh, a teddy right here. We got some blankets. We got some some claws, and we also got some action figures. Oh, by the way, R.I.P. to the homie uh, Chadwick Boseman right here. So yeah, we, here we got some toes over here for uh, Black Panther. Black Panther will come out forever. Uh, here's a spoiler alert of the uh, the villain right here, which. Oh well, let's let's save it for the uh, the review when I see this movie. So yeah, here we go. We got a standing for a uh, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, which I can't wait to see. We got a monopoly of this and uh, a mask and the claws. We got some more characters right here, and uh, oh, we also got some shirts. Huh. Should I get some merch? I don't know if I want any merches, but oh well. We got, we also got some packs. We also got some clothing. We got some. Speaking of Rihanna, <laughs> she made a song for this movie, which I which I have not heard. So, oh well. So yeah, we got some colorings, we got some books, we got some other stuff. Anyways, enough of Black Panther. Let's just go check what new movies they got. All right, over here, wow, like just wow. They finally got the uh, the Walmart exclusive of Nope right here. So yeah, this is what the exclusive is. It's the uh, the horse's eye with the uh, reflection on it. So yeah, that's, so that's why I missed that from the other week before. And we also got the Blu-ray. And we still don't got um, Top Gun right here. Like, that really sucks. And uh, I think this is new. Uh, Yellowstone, the Double Legacy Collection. Huh, I don't know. Ooh, this is, this is like pretty tight. But is this the uh, the inside? Oh yeah, it does. It has the, um, all the Yellowstone, the Yellowstone's um, seasons and the, uh, the pre-sequel of 1883, which that's actually kind of tight. Uh, I don't remember showing this, the one with the uh, John Boyega right here. Uh, anything much is here, huh? A continuation over here. Um, so this is what Walmart upgraded. Like they upgraded some TVs over here. Like I don't remember this came out on digital. I I did see this series on my HBO Max. What a great series, by the way. It's it's produced by the homie. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Ah, oh, crap, what's his name? The, uh, the director who did um, some Will Ferrell movies and including John right here. See, I totally forgot that to show that right here. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah. I can't wait for the uh, that 90s show that coming on Netflix. If I have Netflix. Oh, well. So, yeah, this is what pretty much they show. Oh, yeah, I got to show the sides. Uh, nothing as much has changed. Uh, they still got some. The previous right here. And the, uh, huh. I do not remember this movie coming out, huh? Has this movie came out before? Huh, that's so weird. Well, here's the last copy of it. Huh, for 26 bucks, huh? You want know probably, I mean, I, this movie is a classic, but wow, I didn't know, they, I didn't know this movie was coming out on 4K. Uh, anything else you guys may know? So yeah, let's continue, let's continue like what they upgrade. They got some previous, I, I think, I think these top ones are new. So yeah, if you guys may know these, like what's new, like, here you go. Like, I don't know, was this, I know this is a Warner Bros joint, is it? Is it? Oh, it is a Warner Bros. Uh, what is this movie? Huh. I can't tell which is the title, so I'm guessing it's the, uh, the Quartine Forever. Simia, oh, it's a at least it's a uh, Adult Swim joint, but oh well. All well, this continuation. So yeah, Christmas is coming. Uh, anything else is new? So yeah, they still got some Elvis, some Mortal Kombat. Oh, and we do got the uh, the four year anniversary of ET right here, only on the uh, the Blu-ray right here, huh? That's weird. I still don't. I still didn't find the uh, the 4K. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> here. Oh. Oh well, since they're upgrading on uh, Walmart, might as well uh, pop out the uh, the old releases such as they didn't show this in Walmart, they didn't show this in Walmart, and what else? Oh, they didn't show this in Walmart, the uh, the complete collection of Jurassic World right here. So yeah, that's kind of tight. Now we get to see the uh, I did got the, I did purchase the uh, the Steelbook at Target, but here's the uh, the standard uh, 4K of ET right here. And let's see, anything else is different? Nah. I know these steel books are new. I don't know. I think these are like way back 2018. Oh yeah, to bring back some Grinches. Uh, anything else is different. Now we got some Emmys right here. Not a huge fan of some Emmys, but I am a huge fan of Dragon Ball. I am a huge fan of Naruto, uh, Avatar, and uh, I think there's gonna be a, a live action for uh, for Netflix. So yeah, 
We got some kid stuff right here. Some collectibles. Oh, yeah, it still it still continues. Like we got more stuff right here, like such as oh, Keel, please let me talk. We got some DVDs, some collections, some Fantastic Beasts collection, and uh let's see, uh ooh. I didn't see this in here at Walmart before. Oh, so we do got the uh the 4K of Wall Street, the uh the 4K of Escape from New York. So yeah, oh yeah, and the uh the 4K of Untouchable. So yeah, we got so we got some oh I'll, I'll fix that. So we do got some uh some pretty handy stuff they are bringing here and very a uh, a good price of it for the uh, Untouchables. I don't know if this is actually a, a 4K because it's showing a DVD, so I'm not taking the risk. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically much the uh, the new upgrade they did at Walmart. And uh, what a good um four minute four minute video I've been showing. I should know a, a five minute. I forgot to that show the uh, the front of the store. So anyways, there's nothing much here to see. I'm gonna fix what I did. So I guess it's back to the cart right now. Alrighty then. For starters, it's cool that I showed the um the Walmart exclusive of the 4K of Nope. So yeah, uh, it's it is kind of weird. Like they're showing late movies, even though they're still um, putting like they're still upgrading the uh, the movie sections. But it's cool that I show like everything. And also, um, before you guys, if your Walmart is upgraded, and when I saw those movies behind like The Wolf of Wall Street, The Untouchables, and The Interstellar, and it says 4Ks, it is not on 4K. The reason why it says, um. The title and 4Ks on their text, it says 1496. It is not on 4K. It is just a, a standard Blu-ray and DVD. So yeah, just to be safe, if you guys want to, if you guys have not purchased those, well, that Wolf of Wall Street, it, it looks exactly like the details of the 4K when I first picked it up, but it's not. I looked at the back and it says only the Blu-ray and the DVD. It does not say 4K. So Keep in mind, you guys, it does not have the 4Ks. It just has just some Blu-rays and only on DVDs. I just I just want to let you guys know just to be careful, okay? So yeah, it's cool. I show all the um, the late ones and the uh, I think this is new. The um, the homie um, John Torosmo, um Saturday, the the 45th anniversary of the 4K of Saturday Saturday Night Fever right here. So yeah. I, I really enjoyed this movie so much, and now it's coming out for the very first time in 4K. I'll explain this, or not, which I already did. So yeah, it's it's cool. It came out in 4K. Uh, let's see what else. And they're bringing some Christmas stuff right here, and then I think I showed uh, some new releases, like some of the uh, the crappy movies, like that I really don't care about. And let's see what else. And uh, so yeah, basically through my past videos, they're all coming into. A Walmart where the uh, the size of the shelves, but anyways, uh, there's nothing much here at Walmart to see. Uh, it's cool that I showed all the um, the Black Panther, the Black Panther, uh, what kind of forever the standees that they're showing out, such as the toys, the merches, and the uh, the game boards. But anyways, uh, sorry for boring you guys. Let's go to our final destination and let's go. Alright, last but definitely not least, Best Buy. Let's go right inside. Boom! Sorry, you guys. Um, They're remodeling stuff. So basically, they're like taking all the movie stuffs out and putting, like, putting them in order. Because, you know, sometimes, like, in Best Buy, they, like, grab movies and just like separate them like make a mess so yeah that's what they're doing crap i check like if they have eight mile actually no i forgot to tell them if they have eight mile on 4k so yeah that's the one thing i forgot to, to ask them if if they are if they have it so yeah well, i'm not gonna ask that so yeah sorry you guys like you won't be able to see what well, actually um sorry for not recording nothing inside because like i said um there's nothing there's nothing new over there. They're just like there's just like a whole pile of movies like in that cart, just like waiting for them to put them like back on the shelves. And um, and also um, I looked at the uh, the signs and it says their new schedule. Like like this Best Buy, they're now gonna open at ten o'clock. So that's basically like 
November's November, the month November, November, sorry. So yeah, that's what time they're going to open is at 10, but I'm afraid they're not going to put out the new stuff and the uh, the good Best Buy. They're still not open yet because they're still remodeling. So yeah, um, sorry, like, ah, oh, we didn't even get to see if 8 Mile was there. So until the next video. So anyways, um, what I picked up today. So yeah, I already showed you, I already showed you that what I picked up is the, 20, the 45th anniversary of Saturday Night Fever right here with the homie John Tarovo right here. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically ham going through clubs and start acting like type stuff. And it's cool, like, on the movie Bullet Train, they use um, Staying Alive, but it's not in an English version. So, again, this was, a, this was a classic movie, which I actually saw when I was growing up. But I can't wait to see this movie again on 4K, though. So, yeah, that's the only thing I picked up today is just Saturday Night Fever. But, oh, I really wanted 8 Mile. But I, I hope next week we'll see you there. If if not, then poof. So basically, that's much it. So um, drop a like, uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. The video of mine. So take care and peace.